कैन यू इमेजिन इन सर्ट वीर आर आर जिफ इफ यू कैन फाइंड इट सो फर्स्टली द साइकोलॉजी What's up you guys Aditi welcome back to our channel today we'll talk about another experiment i know we haven't done experiments in a long time but today's experiment is very very interesting it's a part of a social psychology experiment i am sure you must have heard of it or you must have already studied it so this study has been done by philip zimbardo in 1971 in stanford university you have already read the title is the stanford prison experiment Philip Zimbardo had a very crucial question and he wanted to ask that question. The question is that do good people to bad things? Because you know when we think of good people we always think about saints and acche log jo kabhi bura nahi karte ho kabhi bura nahi sochte. You know so he just wanted to answer this question whether good people can they do bad things or they will only do good things in life. so in this study there are um, two kinds of participants so one is going to be the prison guard and second one is going to be the prisoners themselves both are just volunteers okay and they have been chosen randomly like their role in the experiment is chosen randomly um i think न्यूज़पेपर में आर्टिकल दिया गया था एंड दे वर पेड फॉर दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट जस्ट दे वर चोज इन द चाइल्ड no i think chit say or whatever uh, they were just picked randomly to be a prison guard or uh, they were chosen to be the prisoner and um, this whole experiment was done in the basement of stanford university psychology bit so firstly the volunteer guards i'm just going to call them guards okay they're not real guards they are the participant guards okay so the guards were given uniforms they had uniforms they were given this club and stick and whatever you know uh, basically these things so seeing all the stars and stars jo hote are whatever on a police officers uniform and in sort of picture um that is given not just for them to feel nice but hum hamare jaise log jo layman log hai when we see a person in uniform with stars and all the authority things um that demands authority and that makes people like you and me conform to the legitimate authority so um that's the reason why we have people in uniform because the uniform and their whole attire kind of demands us to conform and to obey them such so that's the reason why the prison the guards are also given the same kind of uniform the guard and the guards are also wearing reflecting sunglasses why sunglasses or reflecting sunglasses because um you can't you know meet the eye with them and that kind of um you know there is this proverb or whatever like a saying right like um eyes are the windows to the soul so like when you look into someone's eyes you can actually understand and you can read their expressions and their feelings maybe so because of the sunglasses there is this barrier and you can't actually see their eyes and as a reason why you can't even understand their emotions and both these things not be able to look into the eye and not able to read their expressions kind of uh, creates this anonymity and more of a barrier like a wall between the prison guard and the prisoners as well so that's the whole reason this is not in the textbook this is my whole analogy and i also asked the professor if that's what it is and she said yes so just putting extra information there so the prisoners you know they are wearing their own clothes and whatever they are supposed to wear as per guards and then one morning like sunday morning saturday morning these prison guards were sent to the remaining volunteers who are going to be prisoners you know unke ghar pe bheja gaya the prisoners had no clue okay the volunteer prisoners had no clue this is going to happen to them they were sent to their house they were handcuffed the prisoners the volunteer prisoners were handcuffed taken you know they were brought back to the basement of the university and you know the whole procedure was done with them to normally 
प्रिजन में होता है विद प्रिजनर्स यू नो वेयर देर जनरली हैंड कफ्ट एंड टेकन टू द प्रिजन उनके फिंगर प्रिंट्स लिए जाते हैं उनके पोजेशन लिए जाते हैं दे आर स्ट्रिप डाउन फ्रॉम देयर क्लोथ्स एंड देयर बिलोंगिंग्स एंड दे आर गिवन दिस यू नो द लूज यू नो गाउन एंड दिस नाइल ऑन कैप वॉज ऑल्सो गिवन टू दैम सो बेसिकली एवरी थिंग वॉज डन दिस होल थिंग वॉज डन सो दैट द प्रिजनर्स कैन एक्चुअली फील लाइक अ प्रिजनर एंड Uh, the guards can feel like they are in an authoritative state. Oh, I I forgot another important part. Um, they the prisoners are also given an ID number. Generally, what that if you have seen Veer Zara movie, uh, usme they were never um calling Shah Rukh Khan ka naam Veer as his name, but he was always called the prison number. So that's what all this. That's what was also done with them. They were given a prison ID, and that's what he was supposed to call them as. and then you know how prisoners live right in a prison cell they are given a prison cell and they were supposed to live in that prison cell alone uh, with minimum necessities like maybe a toilet and a bed and a basin maybe even in prison right they have done so certain set of rules like you can't just like roam in the prison whenever you want like you're going to be in a prison cell you can't fight with other people or um, you're supposed to eat at a particular time you're taken to the ground or whatever at a particular time so you know there are these certain rules and some you no know, aise waise aise type ke rules were also imposed on these volunteer prisoners and they had to obey them so they had ru- rules like they're not supposed to talk they're supposed to be quiet during rest Sitting hours and when the lights are out at night. Um, also, um, the prisoners, you know, को ID दिया गया था. The other prisoners will also ad- like address um, each other by their own ID. So you can't like you know, my name is Aditi. What's your name? No. We have an ID given. We are going to call each other with the using the ID number only. And you're supposed to um, address the guards as Mr. Correctional Officer. Again, this was done so that you don't forget that they are not your friends and colleagues, and they're just volunteers. But that again, subconsciously, makes us feel that oh, they are an authority, and we are supposed to comply to them. We are supposed to obey them. um another rule was that the prisoner has if the prisoner wants to do anything like reading writing go to the bathroom even they have to always take the permission of the volunteer guard or the mr correctional officer if you can hear a dog barking again mere niche puppy rehta hai and like i said that philip zambardo wanted to see whether people will obey people good people do bad things he wanted to know all of these and he wanted to see whether um, people are going to obey or comply to rules uh, that are imposed on them and he noticed that they do they do comply so at first the prisoners kind of rebelled because um, it is an experiment and they can they know that it's an experiment right so they kind of rebelled but um the prison guards you know the volunteer guards they kind of um started behaving atrociously with the prisoners because they could feel that they are in this authoritative position right and they tried and they did exert that authority onto the prisoners by being like oh no you are a prisoner and you have to be down there they would make the prisoners do these meaningless tasks really difficult get meaningless they would also um, make one pres- like make the prisoners like tease and make fun of each other uh, a lot of other things like i don't even want to get into it it's quite awful actually like this whole experiment was supposed to go on for like 2 weeks but they had to end it in 6 days can you imagine what we learned from this experiment is that sometimes it is not our traits and our characteristics but it is the situation that we are in that largely determines our behavior so it's i mean there are people and people are um, they differ in many situations and in many ways but when anybody is put in a powerful situation even if it is role playing like this experiment is but when you find yourself in a situation the situation kind of does influence you and this just shows that even if you are a good 
law abiding citizen if you are put in an awful situation you will you will commit or actually i should say you might you might commit atrocities there are going to be exceptions to the rule so this is the rule right like whoever you are you put in a situation it is an awful situation you will do bad things this is the rule but there are going to be exceptions right obviously so there are people who have resisted this compliance and our tendency to comply and get influenced by the situation so if we talk about politicians we say na ki sare politicians same hi hote hai you know they just don't change they just like that they are corrupt and blah 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 maybe it's a situation and it's not the people who actually are bad all the time but it's a situation that makes them do it so this is the rule the exception would be politicians that actually resist powerful situations and conformity pressures like nelson mandela he was a politician right and he was a good person as well and he did good things being a politician so there are exceptions to the rule as well but majority of us we find it extremely hard to resist conformity pressures and we do give into the conformity and that is it for today's video i'm keeping it really really short um there is going to be a part 2 of this video where we talk about so the thing is that this experiment extremely important it explains so much about human behavior but what's <laughs> in my smile is the the dog bark um but it was unethical so another experiment was conducted which we'll talk about in the next video which will come next friday or the day after that because i'm going to film a vlog i think so yeah stay tuned share like subscribe for that part 2 of this video i hope you learned from this if you had already studied it achhi revision ho gayi hogi i hope if not you learned something new today bravo and yeah i'll see you next friday with another psychology video bye